Hello there. This is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary. And yes, I am back with another video. And I got some great news for you, at least for the start. Remember yesterday I was showing you that this picture tube was not completely fastened against the case. Well, I want to show you what I found. This corner right down in here, the mounting piece, as I said, that goes into the case, that piece was broken. And so what I did is I found a longer screw and just made the hole a little bit bigger into the broken piece so that it would go through the piece that was broke to, and the screw was able to go into the remaining portion of the case that was still attached. And so, being that the screw was long enough, it reached the good portion of the case. And now, as you can see, the picture tube is mounted completely. And that's a good thing. And so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the back back on. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, it looks like I can because the holes are coming, the controls are coming right through the the back here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there. And now, whoops. Trent went to lift it up, and the uh, the back came up again. So, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, now, there we go. I have to hold the front and the back together because I don't have no screws. But now, you can see there's no gaps. So, hopefully now, we can uh, try the set and see what happens with it. So let me get the screws back in just for additional safety and then we'll uh, we'll plug it in and what I'll do as I said I'll plug it into another power strip just to make sure that if there still is something wrong with it we're going to be able to shut it down right away. So we'll be back with it fully assembled and ready to test in just a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. And I got the power strip plugged in, as you can see down here on the floor. And the TV's plugged into the power strip as well. And I have the knob already set to the on position. And I just put one knob on it uh, so that. Uh, we can just give it a quick test and see what happens. So I'm going to flip the switch and hopefully nothing's, nothing major is going to happen. Oh, this power strip over here is off. Okay, so let's put this one on. And we'll put this one on. I'm going to be real quick just in case it might do something. Okay, that's working. You can see it's working. Yep, there's snow on there. Now naturally I don't have any I don't have any um, knobs on it. So what we'll do now that we know that everything is okay, and I think it was because the tube was touching something in the back, because now it's not it's not doing that little arc like it was. So that's a good thing. 
So, that's good news. That's real good news. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on the other knobs. And I got the knobs over here in the drawers. Here's the brightness knob. See, I had taken the knobs off originally because I wasn't sure what was wrong with it. So that's that's why I did that. Okay, so now we got the brightness on. And now we'll get the channel knobs. Put these back on. Do the UHF first. Let's see, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Let's see, let's do it this way. Let's do the fine tuning first. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the video while I get these knobs on, and then we'll give it some more testing. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we got the TV fully assembled, and got it on a channel, and as you can see, it does have a great picture and so we've gained another set and this now makes the let's see I think I think I said this is the seventh yeah the seventh TV in the new newly acquired sets that I have and also the fifth RCA identical set so there we have it Five identical RCA TVs, two white, two brown, and one yellow, and also the seventh one that I've shown you thus far. And so that's going to conclude this demonstration. It, well, not quite yet, because well, let's see what kind of let's see what kind of results we get from other channels. Yeah, that's coming in good. And you can hear the sound on it too. It sounds good. And there's yet another channel. So you can see it's working okay. Even the fine tunings work good. Now I don't have anything connected on the VHF, but I'm sure that'll be okay too. So, there we go. Another TV accomplished and fixed. I was almost ready to recycle this one because of, you know, the way it was, uh, you know, the, the condition that it was in. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and reviving it. And sure enough, I did, and it's working great. So, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll definitely be back with more videos. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.